to be selected to become Master Wong Apprentice. We need to go through some basic exercise, see your fitness of the standard or not before we start. Are you ready for that? As ready as we'll ever be. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, now when we come in full to do some of the basic exercise, get your leg, arm, hand strong. Let me go through with you basically what you need to do first. Literally, back, back, turn, turn. Hand up like that with the ball. Okay? This is what you got to do 20 of this basic one. Then, what we need to do is do the basic thing like this from here. Basic hopping. Hopping. Yeah, like that. Basic hopping like that. We do four rounds of like that to make sure that your neck is strong enough. Then, what we're gonna do, do the basic here, push up nicely down and up properly. Okay? Make sure that your chest, your arm is good enough for training. Are you ready for that? Yeah, why not? Okay. Should be fine. Let's get over that side. You go. Yeah, well. Yeah, you're facing me. <coughs> face that way so I can keep it on you. Okay, let's go. Get the shoulder properly down. Get your back straight. You can't but get your arm properly strong if you're gonna do anything. Come on! Come on, man! What's happening? Get that fucking bum straight! Come on! This is the basic, get your arm strong. Your arm not strong enough. How you think you're gonna do the Wing Chun training? Huh? Okay, get up. Come over here. Let's see the arm up to the starting or not. What we're gonna do? Do some pull up here to make sure the arm up to the standard, yeah? Nicely come up here and then to pull up like that. Okay? Let's start first. Okay, let's go. Come on! Come Feel more. Okay. Come over here. You need to do some punching to get some cardio up. Cheers, man. If your cardio is not up to the standard. Okay, in order to uh, take part in the Wing Chun Apprentice, we had to do some fitness testing. It's been a while since I've done any sort of real cardio based fitness testing like this, and Muscle made sure he pushed us pretty hard. And believe me, it was hard. Especially considering generally I'm just doing the martial arts stuff for weight training and that type of thing. So to be pushed in this way definitely made a difference. Cardio? We've just done cardio, haven't we? You haven't done any cardio yet. 
this is just the exercise to exercise the arm, the leg, the knee, the movement. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna get to learn to some punching in there. What you been doing? Okay, come over that side. Pick up the pair. Pick up the pair. Left, two punch. Yeah. Medium. Oh, and three minutes. Let's go now to some punching. <laughs> Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, come over here, put the gloves on that side, kill your side. Smelly. Of course, you are. <laughs> Your mom. Okay, come on the outside. Okay, okay. All the fitness training, not too bad. That's written up to the basic criteria to become the master wong apprentice because I don't want you know, to die on the training side. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yep. The fitness is not too bad. Let's see how we get on. That's the okay. So tomorrow. What we're gonna do, we meet you back here at 6 in the morning, sharp. 6. You understand? 6 mm -hmm. in the morning, and we start training. And then let's see what go from there. Cool, cool. You can go now. Well, the uh, first day training, circuit training session to see if we're good enough to do the uh, Master Wong stuff. Well, I never knew I was so unfit. But to be fair, you know, it's not too bad. Met this new fella called Ty. Uh, seems quite a nice fella, to be honest. So uh, I believe he's the guy I'm gonna be doing apprenticeship work with. So, um, yeah, I'm sure we'll get along and uh, we'll have a bit, of a, bit, bit of a good session. Cheers, Cheers. Thank you. That's Six in the morning? Is it crazy? I'm going to bed. <laughs> we'll show you some stuff here. What you need to do some training. Okay. Now you take on this side there and then take on this side there. Do some punching, do some movement of that on the pack. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's see what you've got. What is that all about? I talked to you, told you to do some punching. It's just sort of, it's punching, knee, elbow, work that stuff. It's not working a close okay. quarter. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. why it flew in the news in a close quarter. Right. This is why okay. Wing Chun would work, you understand that? Yeah. For you to do something difficult for me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me show you how it works. Do you mm. think that's good to use? Yeah, but uh, too quick, I didn't see it. Oh, okay, show me one more then. So, this is where it lands. Boom, here. Straight away, it hit. Yeah. You're lucky it didn't hit you here and bust you up. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you now. Yeah. yeah? If you hook me from underneath, this is where the line is. Cut, cut, in here. This is where the movement is. You understand yeah, yeah. that? Mm -hmm. So, this is why close quarter, yeah. it works on this line. Okay, okay, I'll get it. Yeah, it's good. So, when you want to learn something, yeah, sure. leg like this. Come in and punch straight in the lap. Yeah, straight up with that. In. Okay, straight up with that. So you get a movement of it straight mm. in when you block. Mm. Like yeah? yeah? Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, so your hand mm. is start to cutting. I'll get you some glove. Okay, man. First day training, tire punching. Um, yeah, quite cool, good crack. Um, only problem when I say crack is uh, I asked Master Wong why this, this stuff works because I, I didn't quite understand straight away so he decided to show me um, ended up cracking my rib straight away so first day in bust rib hurt cracked on all through the day he ended up taking me to hospital it was cracked six weeks rest I doubt it let's have some more hardcore training <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. You know a bit more about this stuff than me, right? Okay. You're telling me this, or however fast, is more powerful than. Well, in theory, I guess not, man. Obviously, put that, put that. <laughs> that's that's better. I mean, 
you've got to listen to the man, he's here, I suppose. Yeah, he thought it was but a bit in the past, but like, what's he really all about? Traditional though, isn't it? That's how they do their stuff. They don't know anything about real fighting. Yeah, but like, you know, you're, you're close, fair play, I can see it's okay. principle, but give them away, innit? You know what I mean? You're here, jump in. Oh, yeah. Then you're in, innit? You? Once you're in, knees, elbow. Yeah. Of course. Well. Why is it? You see, innit? Why is it free? Why can't it be three or six or. I don't know. I don't know. Should I ask him? Yeah, I'll yeah, ask the old man, yeah? <laughs> Where'd he go? I know, he's inside somewhere, isn't he? Inside? Hibernating or something? Yeah, they're always scared of us, mate. Wouldn't you be scared of us? Yeah, fair man. <laughs> People don't even know, man. Yeah, he's lucky. Hey, yo, Mike! Mike! Mate. Question for you, man. We're drinking this tea. Oh, drinking, man. of course he's drinking tea. He won't be out here doing the real work, do we? Yeah, bust him up. Question for you. We're just punching lark, yeah? Why is why are we doing free? <laughs> Next time when you call me over, you call me by master. Alright. Not my, right. I'm not you your mate. Ask. You understand that? Now with all that, you're punching me, I need to punish me. Yeah. So get over that side. Take your glove off. Chill, man. You only had to ask, innit? Get on here! Stay here like this on the whole stand. To when I tell you get off. And you get back to work. Yeah, whatever, master. Guess what, sir? Now start punching! How long have you been practicing now? Hi, my name's Chuck. I'm 26. Um, I applied for an apprentice to try and sort myself out. I used to train and fight sort of a couple of years back now. And uh, since then I've been training to become a teacher, which I now am. And it's about time to sort the body out. Um, I know I've mastered one quite a bit, and I was hardcore, his training is quite hardcore, and uh, yeah, I thought, I thought let's come and have some hardcore training. So here I am. An hour, an hour. Do you think that it's going to be good if you can practice like that? Yep, practice like it's perfect. Practice. Stop for a second. Practice made perfect if you do it right. If you practice wrong, you're going to fuck it up. Mm -hmm. So they can't make it perfect if you're doing all wrong. Is that, is that right? So let me show you how to do it properly. Your legs like this in. The way you're doing that, why you're doing it, is this ground. So the core muscle here, legs strong. Mm -hmm. Hand in line like this, yeah? Using the body line like this when you're punching. Yeah, punching, line like that. So when you hit one, two, three, body in. Hand position is very important, okay? So when you're punching straight like this, straight like this, straight like this. <laughs> The way you doing is too wide. So when you practice all that, but your leg is not strong enough. Mm -hmm. So make sure that right. go in properly, and then punch straight in like that. Okay? And ground yourself. The right? idea is keep the body strong. <laughs> like that. Get on with it. Don't stop when I come back. Hey. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Well, you, what's training like now compared to the previous way you trained? Still hardcore, um, but I mean, I, I used to train uh, Master Wong back when I was um, what, 15. But it was all sand shao. It's all competing and, and kickboxing and Chinese kickboxing and knee elbow takedown and locking conditioning. Whereas this, it's, it's foreign. It's it's, it's 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 hard work. It's good, but he's still, you know, he means he means a lot. You know, he sort of. I don't know, yeah, it's just a lot, lot of, he's sort of, um, what's the word, you know, he's, um, I'm going to learn, I'm going to get good, I know I am, you know, I know through his, through his stuff he's, he's going to make me into what I want to do, I know I want to be a Wing Chun instructor and, you know, I want to move my career further forward, um, I had a long career in fighting and, and, and stuff inside and outside the ring, whereas now, I don't, I don't, I'm not competitive, I don't want to fight people or hurt people anymore, and he sort of said come along and he'll, he'll help me get along my way, you know, so yeah. <sighs> tired. <laughs> giving you the traditional way then, rather than the modern way. Yeah, yeah, the modern way for me is, is uh, too many places, too many clubs, too many people train and, and it's all nicey nicey. Myself, I'm a lecturer and you have to look at learning styles and different ways of teaching people. But you can't, if you, if you look at Beijing Olympics, look at the opening ceremony, they're awesome, you know, so... I want Are you to talking shit again? Yeah, Get on to the training! Just, yeah, okay. You come with the train, not talking rubbish. Get on with it! Don't talk too much. I 
I'll see you later on. Yep. Yeah, on the first day, uh, Master Wong had us come in, we had to do some tire punching. For some reason he wanted to do his bare knuckle, so within a few minutes all our knuckles were scuffed up, bleeding all over the place. And then I decided to ask him why we have to sort of hit it in the way we are and refer to him by his name. Apparently he didn't like this. So I got slammed to the floor, then got punished for it. Had to stand in horse stance. Not good. Mm, your leg is shaking. Of course my leg is shaking. How long have you been here now? Too long. Too long? Of course. This is what happens when it starts to be too cheeky to me. This is where you learn to understand punishment. Now let me show you, okay? Stand up for a bit before your leg falls off. Is it hurting you? Yeah? Okay. Why are we doing that movement? Let me explain to you. Practice to get your leg strong a little bit. Hand out like that. When you're understanding the leg a bit weak, then you train for the weight from here. Go to this position here, the Wing Chun position. Learn about the hand position like that. Then turn, hand position like that. Make sure you're walking in line like this, okay? Then your leg don't get in too weak. When you feel tired here, you change in the seam and come back with this here. And make sure your back is straight and train properly to try and get your leg strong. Put your waist in when you move your hand when you're into here. Do you understand that? Now get into there and do it. And so don't this one first. Get on this one first and practice. Okay. And don't get off there to when I come back see you. When I see you back over again, your floor, you fit on the floor, I'm gonna break your leg. Now get on with it. Break my legs. Why you stop, man? Because <laughs> he's watching you, not me. <laughs> well, that's not fair though, is it? Man, if I gotta be stood here aching my legs, you stand there aching your arms. Yeah, you mugged him off, he slammed you down. Mugged me off. <laughs> what? Slam me down. <laughs> <laughs> he bashed you up against the tyres. <laughs> 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 <laughs>